Denver Uber driver demanding answers after being stabbed during pickup. Listen to this. They will not reveal the rider's name, right? And they say they always come out afterwards. Oh, we'll cooperate with the police. Uh, anything they need. They have the name. And one month later, they are still not releasing the rider's name. And I'm asking you, who are you protecting, Dara? Which name are you protecting here that you are not cooperating with the driver, with Mr. Gonzalez? And he went to the media again, rightfully so, to expose the story again, rightfully so, right? Um, they are simply not cooperating with him. A month after an Uber driver was stabbed while picking up riders, he says police are still waiting for the ride share company to reveal who requested the ride. The damage to Disney Gonzalez's car is the least of his problems now. So folks, let's assist Disney Gonzalez and tweet and get the story out. Retweet this, right? Let's put pressure on Uber that they reveal the rider's name so he can get the damages back to his car and to his health. It was October 18th when he was picking up a late Uber ride request at Broadway and Evans Avenue. Five or six teens appeared. He told them that it was too many to get into the car. Remember the story? They hit the car. He said, hey, what are you doing? And then they struck him and stabbed him four times. The wounds were visible beneath his shirt. One of his lungs partially collapsed. I got stabbed over here. The knife used, police say it was longer than an inch. And guess what, Dara Koshishaw, you are not revealing the name of the rider. Retweet, post this on Facebook, put the pressure on this. So I'm getting really angry, right? I'm getting really angry that... The spokes, uh, spokespeople come out and lie and say that they'll cooperate with the police. There's someone here that you are protecting and we demand to know. We are a family of this driver. We demand to know which of the riders stabbed. What are the names, you know, so that we can take action through the courts, police, etc. Um, Gonzalez thought he was life. His life was over. I was thinking maybe they stabbed me in the vital organs and I'm going to die. He also set up a GoFundMe page. I'll leave the link, you know. So in the meantime, Gonzalez cannot work and has a family to feed. Um, folks, we got to put the pressure on. And Uber Dara Kosha Shawi, seriously, dude, seriously, what type of piece of scum are you, Right. When the people that you let on your platform who are underage, who are thugs, who are murderers, who try to kill this man, and then you're protecting them, you're not revealing the names, and you're not cooperating with the police, and you're not cooperating with the driver, shame on you, Dara Shawi. Shame on you.